Now, what I'm about to say is dedicated to one specific person watching this video, okay? The, what I'm about to say is going to resonate with. I want you to think of somebody, think, anybody, think of all the people in your life, either dead or alive. I'm getting, I'm getting you thinking of somebody whose name it begins with either an M or a J. It's a recent loss. I'm thinking somebody like a, like a grandma or a grandfather who has recently passed away. I'm also, there's also something, there's also something about the colour pink. I don't know what it is. There's just something about the colour pink. And there's like an object, like a ribbon. And then there's also something, there's something about the number 13. Something about the number 13. I don't, I don't know if it's a date that this person was born, or the date that they passed, or maybe a lucky number they used to play on the lottery. I'm getting, I'm also getting, I'm also getting an item of clothing, like a, like a shirt or a blouse, something, something with like a floral design. It's, oh, it's either a Mary or a, or a Joseph or a, or a John or. Oh, now for the majority of people watching this, you're gonna be like, sorry, what are you talking about? However, if the, this video gets enough views, there's gonna be that one person who's like, holy fucking shit. What I've just done there is what you call a cool reading which is a technique used by all these psychics all over the world. And today, we are going to expose them. Let's go. Now, first off, I want to make a disclaimer, okay? I am not here to say whether there is or isn't an afterlife, okay? And that you're going to come back as, like, a fucking donkey or something. I'm, bas I'm basically here to debunk these psychics that are just taking money off vulnerable people by using methods that us magicians have been using for a very, very, very long time. First, we need to actually understand what is a reading that these cyclists are doing. So you have three types of readings. You've got a cold reading, a warm reading and a hot reading. Now, a cold reading is something called a Barnum statement. These are things that just appeal to anybody, okay? Like, an example of this would be this, like, you know, this, like, horoscope astrology shit. Which, by the way, can we just do a public service announcement? Okay. The universe doesn't give a fucking shit about you, okay? Like, what? He murdered his entire family and skinned his cat alive? <laughs> Must be a Libra. Like, what? Like, what? Sorry my parents decided to do the deed in January. Then we have number two, which is warm reading. Now, warm reading is you usually have a little bit of in information to go off. And this is usually just done by basic psychology. Let's say you are a psych psychic and a 60-year-old person comes to visit you. Most likely, they are there to connect with a loved one. And most likely, this loved one is dead. So, you are, you know, you, your first guess is going to be that it's a parent or a brother. And then if it's not, then most likely it's a child that was lost tragically. And most of, most people from this era, the name starts with either an M or a J. Mary, Jane, Joseph, Margaret, etc. Now, if I was a psychic, this would give me a little something to work with. Okay, I've got a starting point. Then you have number three, which is hot readings, and these are the ones that are most deceptive. These are what you'd see on, like, you know, like the, the psychic TV specials. <clears throat> Minus the takeouts of the ones that went wrong. Where usually the people taking part have, you know, had to fill in a survey or book tickets or whatever for health and safety reasons. But in reality, it's there so that the psychic, I'm going to keep on doing it, psychic, learns the name of this person, their date of birth, their address, the, you know, the, the billing information, um, you know, and then with this information that can go on Facebook, social medias, search through library records, anything really to get information on these people that they are targeting. Or if it's on a TV show, a lot of these people that are getting interviewed, there's, you know, microphones and hidden cameras all over just picking up on little conversations. Which, you know, once you've got one and one, you get two. Once you've got two and two, you get four. Once you get... Duh, maths. So, first up, we have 
Shamagolis, I probably pronounced that wrong, who was on a live news show, and I believe it didn't go exactly as planned. So, let's see. It's a special gift to see spirits, read thoughts, and predict the future. She says everyone has this power, you just need to know how to tap into it. Her new book is called Discover Your Inner Wisdom Using Intuition, Logic, and Common Sense to Make Your Best Choices. She so do you, I mean, do you, are you one of the psychics that you look at people and you can read things about them? Uh, yeah, like, can I, you sense anything about me? Um, it would, may you I read for you? Okay, yeah, yeah. I need you to be open-minded. Now, first off, you're reading from a news presenter who has most likely got loads of information on the internet because they're, they're a news presenter. Okay. About everyone living and deceased. Do you know the names of people deceased and living, grandparents, parents? Okay, I see an M or J person. What, what was, what was I said to you? M or J? I literally said that before, Mary Jane Joseph. Right, okay, let's see. Do you have somebody, family that is a J or an M? Yes, you do. Duh. Duh. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. So now she's telling her what's actually true. Okay. That works. A or M? M. A M? Is it a male or a female M? I don't know. Female. Is it spelled M A? Yeah. R? Yeah. Like Mary? Yeah. Is that your mom? As my daughter. Or your, oh, Mary. It's your daughter. Was your daughter's there, okay, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, I mean, well, what, I don't know what she's living. But is there another Mary or Marie uh, deceased or middle name like this from your husband's side? No. Okay, I think there may be. But anyway. Oh, she thinks there may be. So there's not, but she's saying that there could be. Okay, that's right. You you tell her what's actually true. Um, is she starting um, a new project or a new after school something or a new... Um, I don't know what my daughter's doing. <laughs> <laughs> they don't talk that very much anymore. Have you met her? I mean, if a daughter goes to school, most likely she is doing an after-school club, you know, like a maths club, art club, geography club, whatever. You know, that is a highly likely possibility. So... That's not good. And, it's hardly psychic. Maybe I should shift you over to Larry. Yeah. And, and does she... And, and I'm seeing... Right. Yeah? Do, is there... Is there... Does she have a boyfriend? She's only, she's only six. She's oh, only six, not. okay. I let you know. Okay, I, I mixed we, up about, okay. I didn't know how old she was. I do communicate with the spirit world. Who's the little boy that she's Not really. With, There's a little boy that she's- Communicates with the spirit world. More like you're drinking too many spirits, love. Very close to it. I feel he's a, he's like a- Drinking too many spirits in this fucking world. J, or is there like an- I don't know any of her friends. Well, like, it's a J's. No, I don't, I don't okay. know, her, I don't so, know which boy she's friends with in school. Sure, if, okay. If, if this is, okay, everybody's got intuition, they yeah. got a hunch, it's big deal. Fault. But if right. you say, hey, I've got this amazing ability to read minds and I don't, see things okay, or whatever, what Okay, now that's what, what I do? don't do. I okay. don't read minds. Okay. What I do is uh, I communicate with the spirit world. Yeah. And I also, uh, help people prevent problems and attain goals by using, uh, helping them use their intuition. Okay, so how do you explain you huh. failing miserably here to predict the Well, that's part of my second, fault. But it's it, part of my yeah, fault. Yeah, but Mary. I picked up on Mary. I said it's her yeah, daughter. Yeah. When I... You didn't say it was a daughter. You said it was a mom. She said it was a daughter. I was five years old. I had a boyfriend. Yeah? Yeah. Didn't you? I don't know. So, well, you didn't say you know, Mary, you no. said an M or a J. I mean, yeah, but, I, right. but, I got an M and a J in my it, family. You got an M and a J is, in your isn't family. Mary, the most very, common he's, girl he's, name. He's also. not open to experience. Well, you know, we're he's very closed minded. What do you say to right. people that are closed minded? They think well, you're, you're, you're allowed to be closed minded. Okay. You're, allow you're allowed to, but. Um, do most you know, people react to you that way, though, and say, we just don't believe it? No. Most people are, are very respectful and, you know. And really nice about it, <laughs> except for Larry. <laughs> except well, for you Larry. you didn't you failed. You know what, Larry? Here's the deal. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna read for you. Yeah. Not. We'll, we'll do this um, off camera. Yeah. If you allow me to read for you. Sure. And then I'll come back on the show. Okay. And you will be the one to decide if what. You That's so the chicken gathers some information to use for Larry, and also that the fact if it goes anything like this one, that it won't be Ed. And she won't be made to look like a complete tit twice. 
you feel is is truth or not. Okay. With the reading. Now, I, I you hope you hit to, it out of the park as well as you, you did here to, today. You need, to, <laughs> you need to be honest, though. Okay, I'm happy to. He needs to and, open up his yeah, mind. And, and I've been this you for need years. to be open-minded, and you know what? You need to be kind to people. Right, so this next person is called the Long Island Medium, and I believe she has her own like TV show or something like that. Um, and she was on a talk show, and we're going to see what she was about. Yeah. Uh, if you sense spirit or mm -hmm. something like beside me, or, like mm -hmm. with a stranger, will you just start talking to somebody yeah. and mention it? You know, it, it's interesting. Whenever I'm in a room, no matter where I am, I always sense and feel things. It's right. when spirit pushes me enough to say something. Right. So um, two souls actually stepped forward um, as when we started to come back from break. Um, but I, I am going to start with, well, I have to start with because he's laboring my brain so much. Because what happens is what? I feel that... He's laboring your... Jesus Christ, you really are stringing that along, aren't you, Pat? the souls so they will make me feel how they feel how they died so um okay so i'm gonna st i'm gonna start i, I want to start with the father figure that departed from the chest because he's laboring my breathing and there's some type of restriction and then he just tells me that he died suddenly there's a there's a family right there right is okay first off this is on a talk show there is one two three hundred people in the audience it is highly likely that somebody in that audience has recently lost a father figure, or not even recently, just lost a father figure. Is there also the husband that also departed? Okay, see, because what happened is as soon as I connected mm, to the, the area, mm. they all started stepping, stepping forward. Now it's just got worked. We also have the husband. This is what I refer to as piggybacking. This is why it is very, very powerful when you attend one of my live shows or just watching Long Island Medium where right. spirit will have Don't you worry. say things. We'll get, back, we'll get back to your dead dad. Let us just promote me show. Connect with, okay? So how do you understand the father figure? Okay. And then we're going to go over here as well. So if you could, if you, and it's your husband too. So we're going to kind of all piggyback it together. Um, there, there were two things. One of them told me that, um, did he like die in front of you? Or did you, did you want to, because he, I just died. And then I was like, there was no time. And I, I feel like if I reacted sooner. Right, so I she was saying like died suddenly. A lot of people do die suddenly. However, she didn't get the reaction that she wanted. So she just continued talking as if. Um, as if that wasn't her final answer. She was contemplating through her own head, like, what is it, what is it, what is it? Tell me what it is. But in actual fact, she just didn't get it right originally. So she's just working her way around it. I would have been able to do more if I only knew. Grieving should be good. Everybody I'm always thinks I could have done more. When someone dies, everybody always thinks I could have done more. So saying that, there's going to be somebody thinking that. Healing. Not to go back and be with this should have, could have, would have, and this only if that but, I could have saved him. Do you understand that? Some motherfucking Shakespeare shit right there. Or even if we went to the doctor, do, is this your grandfather that departed? <laughs> do you see him and you feel him a lot? So know that that's real, sweetheart. Don't be afraid. Because he tells me that he tried to tell you that he's okay, right? And you see that he's happy when you feel him? And when you see him, know that he's just letting you know Right, this is what I mean, okay? Do you think this woman saying this to this young girl is good or bad? Because she could be saying, oh, she's giving this girl hope. Do you know what I mean? Giving her a bit of closure, saying that her, you know, the person's watching over her. Or, but she's actually, like, how does this woman know this? This woman doesn't actually know this. She's just saying it. So is that, is lying in this case actually a good thing to give this girl closure? Or is it still just lying to somebody who's just lost their grandfather is that humane or not he, he is okay and you were just on some type of stage performing okay so just know that he was watching you so if you feel when you sit there and you say he's missing out he doesn't see me this is the thing about spirit they acknowledge the things going on in our lives now to validate that they're not missing out right so, so no, he tells all she's doing now is comforting this woman. She's not actually saying anything. She's just saying, yeah, yeah he's, he's there for you, don't worry. It's like, you know, when any, whenever anybody dies, if, like, if say if your friend's, you know, mother dies, you'll go over and just say, no, don't worry, he'll be proud of you. She'll be proud of you. She's watching over you. That's basically the exact same thing she's doing here. She's just, you know, 
Clearance is Dalton. You also felt him when you performed. So we of course did. You feel know that that truly is him, and he's not missing out. That they know of all of your milestones that you achieve here in the physical world. Your father keeps telling me no regrets, no regrets. He's holding the hand. Do you understand that? Were you holding his hand as he departed? Right. <laughs> holding his hand as he departed. So her father is obviously older than her. Most likely an old man. Now, a lot of people have a deathbed. You know, old people, they go onto their deathbed where they will die and most likely hold hands with their loved ones. You see what I mean? What you're saying isn't exactly some fucking rare ass shit. Oh, found her dead. Died suddenly. And do you, did you feel his soul? Because what happens is when spirit, when they made me, he made me feel the holding of the hand and I got the chill. Trying to back it up that you got that it wrong. That's my symbol for that. You feel his soul. You feel him. Know that that truly is him. And he goes, tell her I'm still the best dresser. So he came forward all dressed and all, all like Dapper Dan. So if he was a very, I'm sorry. <laughs> his name's Dan. Perfect. To validate Do you know what that is? Look. Fucking look. Piece, but more importantly, that you could not have done anything. This is the thing. This is why I do what I do. It took me a long time to embrace I'll Tell you right another here. thing. The fact that this is on a talk show. These people watching, even though they, they aren't stooges, you know, they are genuinely... You know, not expecting this. They didn't just turn up and watch this show. They didn't just walk in off the street. They had to sign up to watch the show. They had to, you know, put their name in, put their date of birth, put their address, you know, email, all that sort of stuff for the tickets, which this psychic can then find out these names, go on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever. Even look through some crim like records of this person and gather up information and like bam 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 it's not hard in 2021 do you know what i mean because this person this people... psychic could already know all this stuff about these people and it's just saying loads of stuff waiting for that person to come out and say yeah that, that that's me because if she just came out and went, you, you did, this, this happened to you, you, this, this happened to you, your dad died, your mother died, you, like, she knows all this information, it'll be like, right, well, she's obviously researched, because if it's too good to be true, it is too good to be true. So people are just going to assume, right, she's obviously just researched this beforehand. Fuck off, Warren. Um, so, yeah. She, need, she needs to make it somewhat believable. Yeah, totally goes. She needs to make it somewhat believable. ...and guilt, these should've, could've, would've. Don't stop living because your loved one departed. I know it's hard, but we need to continue with life. I want to talk about the young man that departed from the tragedy. I want to talk about the restriction of the throat. So, so she knows that somebody in the audience over. has lost a young man tragically. Most likely a son. restriction of the throat or there was something that he digested do we do you understand that they're telling me to come <laughs> she knows that that person isn't over there because she's researched beforehand for me is anyone that left the physical world before we feel their time okay. how do you understand that ma'am Son, son? Son's okay. best friend. Can you stand up, please? And how do you understand that? Um, one of my friends. Okay. Because I felt like it was like a brother energy, but I also felt a son. Do you understand that? Even Call though it's not mom. your son, he called you mama. And can you, and can you understand this too? Of This is, oh, you were very close. Okay. This is, I'm going to talk about the struggles that they had. Do you understand that? And he says, I struggled for so long. My family is left with the guilt of saying we should have been more on top of him. I knew he wasn't okay. He says, I want to take responsibility for that. Don't you carry that burden. You did everything. Because he shows me the ups and downs. And then he shows me at the top of the mountain. And then all of a sudden, he just died. He says, I want to thank you for letting me live my life. Letting me be me. 
and giving me the life that I had. My soul is at peace. I don't want you to feel that you could have or should have been able Whether to this person died from a mountain or not, it's just saying it so fast that this woman can't interrupt and say, oh no, he never fell off a mountain. So all these people are going to be thinking, what? 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 How should we fall off a mountain? Or maybe he did find, fell off, fall off a mountain, you know. She could have easily searched this person's Facebook and seen how this person died. Well, not that person's Facebook, like the relatives of this person. My departure. You would not have known that I had gone back. So, yeah, that is, uh, that is it. That is, now, if you want to believe in psychics, you can believe in psychics. I am just exposing these techniques used by these psychics that means that they aren't actually psychics. So yeah, I'm saying psychics aren't real. But, um, <clears throat> so yeah, that's it. Now, if you want to believe in psychics, you know, that's completely up to you. Um, you know, if it gives you a sense of hope or whatever, you know, you do you. I'm just, expo I'm just here exposing some of these techniques that these psychics are using that means that they aren't actually psychic. They are just doing the exact same stuff us magicians have done. Um, if you would actually, if you would like to see me on a video, maybe ring a psychic and see if they can tell anything about me or maybe like make a fake Instagram to see if that's how they get gathering their information and stuff. Um, let me know in the comments. Not that anybody will probably comment. I'll get like 12 views, but, um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.